Hello my friends. Sometimes you get a chance to buy tokens like this. This is not silver or nothing. This one is, I believe, bronze from 73. This one I just got recently. It's an 85 issue. It's copper nickel, double eagle piece. Um, this one is an NFL thing. It's three nines fine silver though, and it's eh, it's a little less than half an ounce. Stuff like the Franklin Mint done these. This particular thing is sterling silver plated, probably copper nickel. And then sometimes you get some space exploration type tokens like this Project Mercury one, which is kind of neat. Now. Every now and then, you'll go and buy some of these. I bought a bunch of tokens from this guy a while back. Like this. This thing is a co sort of a copy of a Morgan dollar. Uh, it's probably sterling, or not sterling, but silver plated copper. But one never really totally knows. Then they made some like this thing which is for the neighboring state. And it's kind of a bronze piece, really big, really heavy. And then this is the one that the state of Indiana did. With, I don't know why there's a buffalo in there. I don't think buffalo, well, they're not very common now. Not in the wild anyway. I don't think there's any wild buffalo in Indiana. There are some that people raise and stuff, but they're not. And then, I mean, you buy some of these tokens. This guy was selling a bunch of these tokens a couple years ago. He said something that he didn't want to burden his children with it. This is for JFK. It's a memorial medal. It is not actually silver. Is done in tribute, and it's 1964. Someone had put these stamps in here. They're just sitting loose with the eternal flame and a depiction of Kennedy. But the token medallion itself is super high relief. I think it's bronze. Uh, these things go for a bit online, but I he was selling a bunch of this stuff for like bargain prices because he had it, and in his words, he didn't want to burden his children with it. So he's just trying to sell it so that other people could enjoy it. And they did this thing. 1964, so it's like right after Kennedy passed away. Now, going on some of the other medals, you'll find some like this. This is a big piece. It was made by the American Mint. It says on that little piece of plastic. You can read it. American Mint. It's gold plated copper. It's sort of neat looking, but it's uh, it's copper, so it's not really worth a lot. Although some collectors might want to buy this stuff for more than I ended up paying for it. But you know, and then there's stuff like this St. Gaudens copy, and it says 2003 and says copy right there. It's like the twenty dollar gold piece but it's copper so it's not worth much of much of anything I mean I paid a couple couple dollars each on these most of them this thing's pretty neat I think it's bronze it's got pretty high relief on it this is a copy of the American 1804 flowing hair 
but it says copy right there and you can tell by looking at it, it's probably silver plated copper it, it may even say it on the rim somewhere and some of these particular gold plated ones are pretty cool looking like this one it doesn't weigh very much I'm pretty sure it's just a copper you know gold plated copper same as this one same kind of thing but the point about all this is when you're buying these kind of things and this is a bronze presidential thing for G JFK you know this one's also a St. Gaudens copy and uh, does it say copy yeah right there it's hard to read up there but it says copy it's in a holder but it's it says it's copper layered and 24 karat gold when they do these plating the copper itself that goes on them or not copper but the the amount of gold that goes on these things there's another Kennedy one it's silver plated copper I would assume but the point of all this is sometimes when you're buying and this one's really high relief it's still the president and it does I believe on this say it's got a little certificate here and it's copper layered in 24 karat gold but the thing about it to keep in mind is sometimes people will think they have a token like this that is maybe antique silver plating or something and they won't think it's worth much of nothing and this one this one is a little hefty uh, it's a, for the B-58 Hustler jet that they made in the 50s very fast supersonic bomber but a lot of problems this one actually has a little heft to it so when you're buying these kind of things if it feels really heavy like this one does this might be one you want to take to your dealer and have them throw it on a Cigna because even though it was sold as a a uh, token it might be something more than that now one I did get quite some time ago and I'm going to show you this this is the Tecumseh the shooting star one dollar chief shooting star Tecumseh and gives his lifetime this was issued by the Shawnee Nation or the tribe I mean and uh, 2002 and I when I first got it, I bought it at a token price of two dollars, and I'm like, "It's cool looking. I it's probably antique silver plated or something." Well, I started researching it quite a bit and found out that this is actually a one ounce piece of silver, three nines fine. Had it sigma tested, and it is, because I thought, well, maybe they made for you know in their visitor place where the Shawnee tribe lives maybe they have a gift shop and they make you know copies of the actual silver piece to sell at the gift shop but this is actually three nines fine silver one of the biggest scores I've ever gotten in terms of buying what people thought was a token turns out to be three nines fine silver now that brings me to the last thing I just did a video for this I was talking about it this box I have yet to have this tested but I looked it up on New Mista this is the National Bicentennial Medal this thing you look at it it's like a proof very shiny turns out this is actually sterling silver and uh, I'm not sure exactly what I don't remember what weight it is but it should not have been one dollar and that's why if you are a coin dealer you should definitely have a Sigma and test this stuff because you never know exactly what you have anyway tokens can be interesting 
and sometimes a token might turn out to be something more than what people thought it was. So anyway, you know, keep looking for the collectibles. You never know what you might find as you're looking. And I do believe I might have a couple of these Sigma tested just to see. Because, by golly, if someone made this, it doesn't feel like an ounce. It's, it's the size of a silver ounce. But say they made this in silver and plated it in gold. And it tests as three nines fine silver. It would definitely be worth more than a dollar fifty or two dollars that I paid for it. You know, and same with any of these other ones. But really, the only one I that felt kind of heavy where that one go was that jet one there with the. This one felt kind of heavy. So I could pop it out of this card and weigh it and see if it's an ounce. If it's one ounce, right on the nose. This could be a silver piece, but I'm definitely going to take this by my coin dealer, my other coin dealer. He's got a Sigma. Have him drop it on there and see if it truly is sterling and not some copy because you never know these days. They copy everything out of China these days. So anyway, if you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. And uh, this is... A little bonus it's made out of pewter metal it's a copy of the confederate 1861 orleans it says copyright on it half dollar because that was the mint that was in the south when they succeeded from the union and it was a long war to get them back this ain't worth a whole lot being two dollars but the real coin would be you yeah, have one that wasn't a restrike and it was a real coin. You're talking about a pretty pretty expensive piece. Anyway, that pretty much covers this this video. And I'm gonna go ahead and probably test the, the one. So we will see you next time. Have a good night.